Hey guys, before I start the video, please subscribe, like, and comment. We'd really appreciate it. All right, now to the video. Hey guys, Roberto here in my backyard. It's been a while since I did a shoot to talk. I've been happily traveling. I was in San Diego for the San Diego Comic Con. That was a lot of fun. And then uh, later on, I was in Connecticut for another convention. So I did back-to-back -back conventions and back-to-back -back weekends, and it was a lot of fun. Didn't spend that much time here at home, but I am back home. Thank goodness, I love it. So in this episode of Shoot to Talk, I figured since I just came back from conventions, had a lot of fun meeting up with a lot of my boys over there, I figured let's talk about my second favorite Marvel character. The first one is Daredevil. And I actually owned Daredevil number one, 1961, autographed by Stan Lee. I got to meet him. So my second favorite Marvel character, The Punisher. Now, I actually used to own Amazing Spider-Man issue 129 many, many years ago. I remember picking it up at a convention. It was Megacon back in 2009. I had the comic book for quite some time, but unfortunately I had to sell it. I had to get new tires for my car, so it kind of sucked. Oh, and before anything else, again, uh, Two months ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. Yeah, a little bit longer than that. I picked up this magazine that had the Punisher logo on it. Fantastic. So, in this episode, oh yeah, my radical firearms again. Fantastic. So, let's get a couple shots in right now. Doing a little bit long distance on this one. Haven't used my scope as much as I like to. Get some dirt out of here. Okay, where am I? Oh, there we go. All right, let's take a couple shots out of this magazine. Seems a little bit high. Okay, no problem there. Just rotate, just pinch maybe. That's better. All right, so I'm gonna just put this down, put it on safety. Now, as I mentioned, I had to sell my Punisher comic book. Now, throughout the years, I've collected many comic books, all that good stuff, got them officially graded through CGC up in Sarasota. And I always had comic books on reserves to trade or sell. Just, you never know. So I took four books with me to the San Diego Comic Con, uh, and I came across several dealers, but I found one dealer in particular that I saw, The Amazing Spider-Man 129, and it was also the exact same grade when I sold uh, my book years ago and we worked out a price and then I showed him my four books and we worked that out so I was able to get boom amazing spider-man 129 first appearance of the Punisher and also first appearance of the Jackal now the Punisher was created by writer Jerry Con Jerry Conway artist um, Ross Andrew, I always forget about him unfortunately, that's fault on me, and John Romita. Unfortunately, both artists passed away recently. John Romita passed away earlier this year. But yes, I was able to pick up The Punisher's first appearance. So, yay. Uh, again, I always liked The Punisher. I have a good chunk of The Punisher comic books when it came back, or when it came out back in the 80s, all the way up until now. Uh, there's several runs that I really loved, uh, or miniseries. The biggest miniseries that really helped The Punisher to really get its legs on was back in the 80s, uh, or 90s, I believe, late 90s, or mid 80s. I, I gotta double check on that, I know it's kind of bad. But it was by writer Alan Grant and artist Mike Zack. Uh, it was a, originally four, but when the first issue came out, it was such a huge hit, it sold out that they decided to add 
issue five. So again, it was originally a four issue, then it became five issue miniseries. And then after the success of that one, that's when Punisher got his own uh, comic book for quite some time. And unfortunately, the Punisher had many reboots, restarts, call it what you want. I hate those things. But there was a great moment when writer Garth Ennis came on the book in the 2000s and that really catapulted the character to places it's never gone before and that was a lot of fun it, he first got his I think he started writing it when the Punisher was introduced in the subline Marvel Knights and it was a welcome back Frank with writer Garth Ennis, artist Steve Dillon and Jimmy Palmietti and it was a 1280, 12 issue miniseries that later on carried over to another good long run of the Punisher series that got canceled but in a good way Garth Ennis continued as the writer and that's when they decided to bring the Punisher in the now former Max line for Marvel now the Max line think of it like the HBO Showtime Cinemax uh, of comic books for them it was also trying to rival with DC's Vertigo line so it was really over the top no holes bar pure in-your-face action violence mayhem I have every issue that Garth Ennis uh, wrote along with the phenomenal artists they collaborated with and in 2010 I was on eBay and I came across issue number one even though I have it but this was graded and this is my second highest grade ever and that is CGC 9.9 .9. so here's the Punisher Max issue number one and again 9.9 .9. fantastic and I think it's time to shoot a few more rounds there we go So, the Punisher. The logo has been through a lot. Um, there's been some com uh, issues regarding the whole uh, military, law enforcement, or just regular people wearing it for for two A movements and stuff like that. Uh, I know that the co-creator Jerry Conway was a little bit vocal about that, saying people wearing the logo for military or uh, a law enforcement just kind of contradicts what the Punisher is for. Again, he's for going outside the system, causing um, basically uh, vigilante to its fullest. I kind of see his point on that. But again, it's also First Amendment rights too. Uh, earlier this year or last year, they changed the look of the Punisher's logo, and that had a tremendous amount of backlash from a lot of fans. And uh, later on this year, apparently, they're going to be doing a Punisher again with a totally new individual. And they're slowly getting it back to the look of the skull. But they kind of did it slightly different. But at least you could see the skull there. So who knows what's going to happen. I don't know if I might pick up that issue or not, or the series. See how it goes. But in the meantime, uh, I could always go back to the classic comic book runs and just enjoy them. Of course, there's uh, three actors have portrayed the Punisher, live action, Dolph Lundgren. Uh, I saw the movie, it was okay. They never said the Punisher's name at all. Uh, for that matter, he didn't even wear the logo, I think until like the very, very last scene, which was, mm, all right. And then years later, Thomas Jane played the Punisher, and I didn't mind it, it was all right. It was a good one. Uh, they used a lot of the Garth Ennis storylines, in a sense, or people, or characters in that movie. Uh, I found out that Thomas Jane did a good chunk of his own stunts, including fighting Kevin Nash, a.k.a. the Russian, in that movie. So, it was fun. And then, of course, with the TV show of Daredevil, introduced John Bernthal as 
Frank Castle, the Punisher, which again, that was a great casting, great everything on the character. So really happy about that. Of course, they changed a few things because in the comic books, he was a Vietnam vet. So in modern age, they put him in today's war, uh, uh, today's wars of Afghanistan and Iraq. So, okay, that's fine. That's cool. You got to do what you got to do, but it still kept the essence of the character. And of course, how Frank Castle became the Punisher with his family being completely murdered in front of him. And I think one of the biggest things I love about the Punisher is he's just a regular human guy who <laughs> had a really unfortunate bad day. There's no super powers to this guy. It's just his wits, his mind, his military background experience. And again, that's one of the best reasons for me that I love the Punisher because that's who he is. He's just a man, a very driven man actually. And that was the last shot. All clear. So, yeah. Again, so again, The Punisher, love the character. Tell me what you think. So, it would be nice to know if there's any other Punisher fans out there as well. So, alright guys. 2A all the way.